everybody and welcome back to the Botanis Garden Club. I'm here today with my compatriot, Elka, and we're going to have so much fun. So as you know, I am Wendy. <laughs> and I'm Elka. <laughs> and we just so enjoy doing these Garden Club episodes. And I've got to say, I haven't done one with you for a while. Yeah, it's about time, isn't I it? I know. Yes. <laughs> and as you all know, Elka is a creative genius. I have other gifts. I actually am very creative, but not in this regard. And when she brings these pieces of wood in, I think, what is she going to do with uh, that? And enough. then she does it, and dang it, I want it. <laughs> I want every one of them. So today, she had some really wonderful ideas, and we put them all together here. We're going to go through them one at a time. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, what I love best about this, Elka, is everything is rather simple. Yeah. And you gathered these, well, you gathered one of those vases from my desk, <laughs> and the other ones you found in simple places. Like, yes. where do you get them? Where do you get the Well, ideas? you know, everybody knows by now that I like to go to these um, inexpensive places, like <laughs> secondhand stores, is basically. Yeah. You know, I've, I don't think I've ever been in a secondhand store walking out with nothing. <gasps> And it's usually some kind of a container, a box or something. Uh, and oh, most likely, we, we probably have these bottles at home. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm looking for different shapes, so it's not just like the plain old wine bottle. Oh, that's uh, good. Even though they work too. Yes. You know? uh, but, you know, here, uh, some colors, some... some yeah, I mean, that's something funky. on it, yeah. See, I would go to a second-hand store and not even think about purchasing that. <laughs> well, you will now. I know, <laughs> I'll be in there looking for them. But I do love the fact that you're not spending a whole lot of money to create these really wonderful projects that we're presenting to the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. people out there, which I think that's just brilliant. Well, so one, which, uh, yeah. one of the things that I really always want to do is make it as simple as possible so everybody feels comfortable mm -hmm. to try it and actually And natural, too. Yes, I, yeah. I find that sort of a theme that runs through everything and you using do. using the stuff natural. we have, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have stuff lying around the yeah. house. So, okay, let's start with the first one. Right. Okay, the whole theme is using bottles, containers, anything, uh, and screw it to something 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 actually really uh, and make it more you know cool looking so like a fence maybe I think yeah, exactly. I want to take some of these for my fence, a fence so and a nice shed I have a shed uh, oh, on yeah. it and, and if you are um, a black lover like we are <laughs> like a black fence or black shed or something it really gives it the extra background yeah, and that is really uh, often the trick on any vase if it's at home if it's uh, on you know in a, on a sideboard if it's hanging on the, on the vase and mm -hmm. then it's the background that really makes yeah, it makes true. it even better looking so the first one is just literally a piece of wood that I found outside and it's the, it's the simplest one yeah. you just use a screw in the middle here or somewhere and the screw placement is part of um, what where you want the vase so you can have a vase that is covering the whole thing so you would put the, the, the screw, screw right on the top or... but of course then all the flowers are above the board oh. huh? so if you have the screw lower so the kind of half of it not, mm -hmm. not hanging it so like half of it then it's it's showing off the vase and the flowers you can also have basically it hanging like this depends on the background up there and have yeah and have the board the background for the flowers so it depends oh. what what you want to do oh, so i brilliant. decided halfway through here for yeah. now good and it's literally just a screw in the middle and then i drilled two holes and then you use some wire. It's a little. It's, I think it's 19 gauge or something. Oh yeah, it's, it's a, little a little bit of a stronger. Sturdy, yeah. yeah, that's good. And uh, and then you just feed them. You can actually do oh, that. I'd love to do that. Thank you. So you and just I'll feed it through the hole. I learned. Oh, you know what? The glasses are going to have to oh, come. Oh well, on. yes, we have well, because glass people. Now. That's right. <laughs> Never used to be. There we go. Oh, there you go. Just feeding through that. that yeah. Through the hole. Yeah. So now you just uh, hold maybe the hand. Up where you like how long you want to have it okay if you want to hold it like this yeah that I would probably a little, a little more better, shorter yeah. like this so you just feed it through and then you twist it and make sure you have a little bit of an end left that's kind of fun stuff I like what you've done with it right there yeah it's it's the look of it and mm -hmm. all you do to make it a little not don't just clip it off you yeah. can but you know we want to be creative here so I use a screwdriver hold it to the end and then just take the, the last piece and go around and around and around and around and then you have a little curl thing like this here. Oh, right? that looks great. And then you can turn it so that the wire is not facing yeah. out to poke you as you make your Exactly. Project. Make sure that the oh, ends so are kind of bent exactly. so you don't hurt anybody, right? And you could do that also in between so it's not just a regular loop. And it's literally just go like this. Mm, that looks great. Two, three loopies here. Wouldn't do too much, right? So Yeah, just add a little this. something like that. And when you take a vase, and especially those little bottle kind of vases, 
if you would just take your flowers and stick them all in everything is going to go right down and it's going to stop where the flower starts so you have like that big bunch and it doesn't look like uh, anything so i like to make a little bouquet first just oh, a little brilliant. you know uh, like I, I arrange it higher lower mm -hmm. and i give a little bit of an end and then i put it in all as one together right so you could use an elastic band you could use raffia which is what she's used and she's just wet it yep. so that it doesn't split you know how many times have i done that and you know had the all the bouquet right down at the bottom here because the narrow neck of the vase or the the bottle has just allowed them all to slide down to the bottom and it just it never ever looks like this that is fantastic so i love it look at that you just hang it on your fence on your shed whatever yeah. it is isn't it just lovely? i think what's really cool is the the weight of this too is that you this is a really nice big solid piece of wood you could use thinner wood as well oh yes yeah yeah you can even use an, a, a, a picture frame and instead of uh, take the glass out and instead of just the cardboard back you just nail a wooden board on it and then you you put the vase in the picture frame so i mean well that's a great idea less, i love that too there's the next project yeah you. okay <laughs> that looks okay. really good so we're gonna put that away yes we will show them at the end all okay, together so you get a better look and at I'll it lay that so, down right here this oh. one i prepared just so we don't go on and on and on forever here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the same uh, concept, but this one is a different way of attaching the bottles to the wood. And those funny little things you get at the hardware store, and those are the ones you use on the wall for your tools. Oh, for, for the, the broomstick and, and things all like that. Just that. Click and them they in. Just click in. And, yep. Click oh, that's in. great. So this one is a little bit more like a, a, the craft idea with the kids, you know, painting something on it. It's a beautiful um, little gift for Mother's Day, oh, Valentine's Day. I'm thinking teacher gift now oh, i can hold yeah. this for you if you yeah, like you hold it and i it's like very that you painted this too look at that so you okay. just hold it like this I'm holding it tight oh for the the gosh in. sake that Put looks fantastic look at that oh doesn't that look great i Same love thing. it Hello. there we go and on a fence or on i think on my black shed that would oh be oh my god can really you imagine incredible. a black background and that's that's really is remember that the black or any background yeah. it's, a, it's a whole wood piece just makes it pops makes it yes pop, for really. sure oh i love that elka that oh, looks lovely. so beautiful the red in there and the little hearts behind there too i like the uh, painting that you've done on it because it's not it's not heavily painted it's just sort of lightly painted yeah and then really that pop of color with the red flower the tulip and that beautiful you know could, could be anything even like uh, you know when oh. people have a new house it's like the welcome oh, side yeah. it could be uh, yeah we could even put it on a door yes you, you know, could for sure beside the door so it's it's a yeah. thank you whatever you write on that yeah, would be really nice i love it okay oh, okay i know that everybody <laughs> wants to do that <laughs> that is really Simple quite lovely. effective right mm -hmm. beautiful okay can you lay that down there yeah Perfect. And number three, Move that forward a little let's bit. just work a little bit. I'm, I'm going to make you work now. Wendy. Oh gosh, <laughs> I think I need my glasses again. And I, I'm <laughs> you. Oh, you do. And this one, actually, I would like to show because there's some little small tricks when it comes okay. to the bottles. Um, another easy trick on uh, attaching it is I just use those ring screws because at the end you put the board on a shed or something, and I don't want I don't want to. Uh, see the hook. I don't want to have another loop because oh, this is a yes. pretty long a thing mm -hmm. uh, and it just makes it like a floating board because now you attach it on the back and nobody would even see it. So now would you use a, a hook on the back like on the shed or would it just be yeah, nails? Yeah, you don't point the nails a little oh, upwards so that, up, okay. or, or there's these L-shaped screws that you just put oh, in. Oh perfect, that's right. I've yeah. seen those before. Excellent, okay. Okay, so oh, now this is beautiful. what I'm talking about here is this. these are the same hooks like these um, the broom holders. The broom mm -hmm. stick holders, yes. So sometimes we run into some difficulties when you have a bottle that is shaped like this you have a, st a very skinny neck and then the bottle goes out so if we put that on a board let's just click this in if you put that on a board it's going to go like yeah it can't lay flat show that. Yeah. if you want to hold this i'm going to show this so if you would put that on let's just take it all off so if that would be flat on the wood and you put that on so see, it's, it's kind of it's kind of off. Yeah, it, off. It works. The longer the neck, the better it works. But there's another um, idea you can use. You use a spacer because all it needs it needs to be a little bit off the board. And what I'm using here is I just use some bamboo stick, That's and I cut you. the little pieces off because they're hollow, and I can just stick my th my uh, screw right through it. Right? And so um, often bamboo just splits in half. You cut the nice pieces, you have them all, you screw them in and they cut in half. So what you use is you take the, the raffia 
And like you mentioned before, you make yeah, it wet. Raffia is mm -hmm. a perfect thing to repair things, like your wicker furniture or stuff like that. So you make it wet and then you tie it really tight around it and tie a knot and when it while it dries it actually tightens oh, it even really more. squeezes up yeah, yeah it's really it's really good for step. furniture but yeah. wicker furniture because it's very easy to work with when it's when it's uh, when wet. it's pliable it's, and it's wet. very soft mm -hmm. and, and then you tie it all up and, and then you let it dry and it ties okay, the whole thing that's so, a great tip right there i'm going to be using that for sure well, you you have a wicker chair i know i do so if you <laughs> want to take this one here okay got the glasses I, and what it. elka has used on this one is just a small simple piece of wood and that I'm going to place under my piece or my metal broom holder right there. And I'm going to screw yeah, this in. Yes. I yes. So do. I put Thank the you. screw through. First the screw. So. And behind the oh, place, yeah, the space that. maker here. Okay, I need glasses. I can't I know. Anything. What the heck? Sorry, people. Okay. So, put that in. So glad you have drilled, pre-drilled these yeah, holes yeah. for us, Elka, because it's I'd like be Martha Stewart. You know when she has all these different kinds of pre-baked things, and oh, oh, look, we already have one. Oh. There you go. Put your screw in and the space maker. I like this idea of this little block of wood to, to able be able to allow this holder a little bit to be a little bit away from the piece of wood that we're screwing it to. That's really important. So then the vases when they go on will be able to s to lay flat against that wood. Exactly. That's brilliant. Yeah. Really brilliant. And on this wood, I didn't do any treatment. I literally took it as it was in the, in the backyard because I like the, the rough look. I even like when the screws get rusty because that makes it, it's a different yeah, look, right? It's not point. the contemporary, mm -hmm. it's more like the country look. Yeah. Okay, so you want to hold it. I would love bit. to hold it. I'm going to put some flowers in here. Same Using your again. trick. I, the trick. The, God, that looks, I, I cannot tell you how excited I am about that one little tip today because I have done these vases. I've got lots of uh, vases at Bosses, home vases. and you know I put a piece of, of uh, greenery in it and it slides down to the bottom and that's it and I just have never thought about doing it this way. What a brilliant solution. I, have to look at them. Look. I love that these are blue too. The blue contrasting on this rough wood looks so pretty. So if you hold it a little bit like that so I can see what I'm doing. Okay let me do that. So then you just arrange it maybe have something you know hanging down oh, a little okay. bit. Okay, doesn't that look incredible? Like this. Turn them so they work. You oh, can have an ivy hanging downwards or, uh, and, and like I said in behind there's these two yep. screws now so you wouldn't see anything. You wouldn't yeah. see, uh, uh, I mean you can, you can have the same thing, you can have the, the hooks on the top yeah. or the wire thing that we did with the other ones but I don't think it needs because it already has uh, has the length. Exactly. So yeah, I totally shape, agree with you on that. Totally li agree. Literally any shape you, that's lying in your in in your backyard, piece of fence, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Or you or you put the hooks directly on the fence. Oh, that's a great idea too. Yeah. Oh, I can just see putting those hooks right on the fence with a, a nice little wine bottle. These blue ones being particularly pretty. Yeah. And then every time a new little flower comes out in the garden, go and snipple away snipple and away. slip it in, tie it first, and then snipple them in. I can see all these women's going now around putting, <laughs> putting these hooks on the fence, and the husband goes like, "Hey, what, what are you doing? doing?" That's right. <laughs> well, Thank when the job is done, they'll understand the beauty of it. This is is really quite lovely. Oh, Thank you very much. Yeah, I and love you, it. Know, you know the effect also is the color of the bottle. Any. Yeah. Anything like this would work too. Yes. Oh, uh, red ones. I mean, go go to the secondhand store. You will see this. these bottles come in every color and yeah. every, you know. So it's oh. yeah, it's just another idea. I love it. This is such a great idea for this time of year when we're all looking for gifts for people. Like you say, for housewarmings, when you're going to someone's house for dinner to bring a little something to them. Like why not do this? I think it's way better. So you empty the bottle of wine, then you put it on the board. And good then reason to <laughs> empty the bottle of wine, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a great reason. There you go. Okay, I love them. Thank you so much. This is really incredible. Really incredible. I think you've inspired me for sure, and I'm sure that everybody out there is inspired to go out and create something wonderful for their for their fence on a piece of rough wood that you have already laying around. Exactly. I love it. Okay. And every week we love to give something away, and we always ask a question. So the question today is, what little tip did you learn and did I learn about creating these little bundles to put in tall skinny vases? What do you do? And all you'd have to do is send the answer to that to gardenclub at botanis.com in an email that is. Mm -hmm. And we're going to draw three lucky winners. And what are they going to get each? Each a $10 uh, Botanis oh, gift certificate. Nice. I love that. 
and that would just give you the oh, the ability to buy something to plant in your garden so you can put it in here afterwards. Put it in here, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's sort of full circle. We love that. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've learned as much today as I have and that you're inspired to go out and make something like this and cut some little goodies out of your garden. Exactly. And thank you, Alka. I, I just welcome, can't tell you how lovely it is to be with you again on the, on the screen. <laughs> and thank you again for tuning in today. We'll see you next week, same time. Bye for bye now. Bye bye.